Hello everyone and welcome to my first ever crafting tutorial. Recently I've been doing some images with the Magnolia stamps and people have asked how I watercolour them so I don't really think mine are that good but I will do a little tutorial today and show you how. Firstly, obviously, we've got our little Tilda stamp. This is Tilda Kissing Under the Mistletoe and she's just so sweet, I love this stamp. Then of course we've got an acrylic block um, and I'll also use this for watercolour later which I'll show you. We have the Stays On ink pad which is my favourite for getting a lovely crisp image and it's colour fast so it won't run when we apply the watercolours. I've got the Aquatone watercolour pencils which I rarely use but I really like the little um, watercolour brush that you get with them and that's my favourite tool for doing watercolours. I've got my Rub It Scrub It stamp cleaning pad which is brilliant for getting into all those little details to clean all the ink out of your stamp so you don't lose anything. And lastly, I've got my jewel tip brush markers, which we're going to use for watercolouring, but you can also use these for inking straight to your stamp. Okay, then first of all, we take our little Tilda. She's got a lovely Klingon background, which means she goes straight onto the block. Take our ink pad. And this is a naughty thing to do in the stamping world, but I like to rub the... Uh, ink pad all over just to pick up the details and then give it a light tap and we take the block and place it down let's do it this way so you can see it and keep one hand on the block at all time press all over and lift up and we should have a nice crisp image now I always keep some baby wipes handy give my stamp a good scrub nice and squeaky and then this little rub it scrub it which looks a bit like a scouring pad and doesn't look like it would do much it's absolutely brilliant for getting stamps clean give it a little bit more wetness Tilda looks cleaner than when I first started now. Okay then. And with the colouring. So now we've got our lovely Tilda. We need to select a colour. Now hair is quite difficult to do, but I found with these brush markers it gives a really good effect and really good gradients and shades to the hair to make it look more natural and what I do is just go around the outside and all the details with the thick end of the brush you could do some of the detailing with the thin end of the brush to give uh, different gradients and different depths to the hair so that would look quite good but just for speed today I'm just doing this very quickly so I don't bore you all with my endless chattering. Okay, obviously I need more practice doing colouring. Right. Next we take our acrylic block and we apply a bit of the colour to the block. Like this. And that will be our watercolour base. Next we take the water brush and pick up a little bit of the colour. Now obviously we want to start at the edges of the watercolour room because this is when the colour will be the darkest. As more water comes out of the pen the colour will get lighter which is when you should move to the middle. Keep picking up more colour to add different depths and different gradients throughout the stamped image. I like to brush in a circular motion as I find this gives a more natural effect and a more, um, oh, I've gone blank now. 
a more smoother finish. Okay, that's Tilda's hair, which I think looks pretty fabulous. And now we're going to colour in her stockings. Now to clean my water brush, I just squeeze it, which flushes it out, wipe it on there, and now I've got a nice clean brush. Let's clean my stamp block as well. Okay, I think we'll do her stockings in a nice purple. Let's just go around the edges, just like we did with the hair. And what I'd recommend you do, if this is your first time using the watercolours and you're not used to them, is to stamp two images and use the other one for testing the pens on first, just to check what the colour's like. Um, a few of these markers were a lot darker than I imagined they would be and I've ruined a few images so I could really have done